19th today at the Nike Nationals in a time of 1542. 199 of the country's best runners took part. To Cranston Stadium for day one of Super Bowl football action. Defending champ Hendrickson taking on the only undefeated team in D1 LaSalle. Jumps in the second half, Rams trailing, but no more. Anthony Francis, the pitch to Ty Neal Cooper. Ty Neal finds the end zone. Extra point gave the Rams a 14-10 lead. But first and long after a penalty, Ryan Brannigan finds Aaron Webb over the middle. Big gain and a big first down. A little later, Brannigan to Lionel Cintron. The defending champs put a run to LaSalle's unbeaten streak, 17-14. The final Hawks make it back-to-back -back state titles. The undefeated LaSalle team is a great team. Nobody said we can beat them. And we just believed in ourselves, came out here, had fun, and did what we had to do. Last year there was a drought. We didn't win, we didn't win a Super Bowl in so many years. And now to have two in a row that I was both a part of just feels great. In D2, an all the Quidnick Island affair. Defending champ Middletown taking out top seed Rogers. Vikings up 14-7 looking at Cody Platt finds Trevor Morgara. And Trevor finds some room over the middle. That would set up a big catch and run. And that play would set up this play, the handoff from Cody to Mark Washington. Mark the touchdown run. That gave Rodgers a 20-7 lead, and their defense would do the rest. Second half, second half shutout for them. Quan Woods, the sack, 27-7 the final. Top seed Rodgers gets the job done after falling in last year's semis. Just kind of let it happen again. We got we got knocked out last year and didn't get a chance, so just more motivation. This feels good. We, uh, we just didn't. We had a perfect season and we finished it. Close with a little high school hockey. Cranston East hosting Tolman. The bolt flying early. Loose puck will come in front of the net, but Bobby Kuzik would be Bobby on the spot. But the Tigers will get the last laugh in this one. They top East 7-5 the final. And the girls playing before the guys, Cranston Co-op squad, most of the fun tonight against Smithfield. Steph Casale finds Emily Tilton all alone in the front. The Thunderbirds would fly to the 8-1 win over Smithfield. I'm J.P. Smolens, Eyewitness Sports. Great. Thank you, J.P. and go Bruins. And you can